Have you wanted to make an amazing Bedrock Pocket Mine server? Well, you came to the right video, guys. Let's get right into it. Yo, yo, what's going on there, lads and lasses? So welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a local pocket mine server. So this video will not cover port forwarding or making your server public to everybody. That'll be in the next video where I show you how to make a custom IP and port forward. But for this video, we're just going to focus on the basics, getting it started on your local network. So anyone that has Minecraft open on your network can join in your server. But before this video starts, could I have all you guys hit that like button? And could you guys hit that subscribe button? It would be a massive help. Thank you very much. Now, let's get right into the video. So first things first, you want to open up your web browser and go to this website right here, pocketmine.net. Now I will have it linked in the video description below so you can just click on it from there. So once you're here, you want to click on get pocket mine and it'll redirect you to this page. Now once you're at this page, click on installing manually. And once you're here, click on downloads right here and it'll redirect you to this page. Now, there is two links. First link that we're gonna click on is GitHub releases, which is this right here, and it'll bring you directly to GitHub where if you scroll down, it'll say Pocketmine MP 3.11.6 or whichever version you guys are on right now. Now, from here, we are going to need to download two things. The source code, so just click on it and it'll start downloading. Here it is. And once that is done, you want to download pocketminemp.far. Just click on it. Okay, so we have two files. We are going to drag them to the desktop or wherever. I'll just have mine on my desktop for ease of access. We have both these files. What I want you to do is you need to extract the pocketmine MP 3.11.6 11.6 file that you just installed once pocketmine-mp has been extracted this will open right here and just drag pocketmine mp 3.11.6 to your desktop right here and from there we can just double tap and we can open up the files for the server but we're missing two files so you know this pocketmine.far we are gonna drag this into the pocketmine mp 3.11.6 folder and that'll put it in right here. But we're still missing one more file. That is where this second link comes in. So this PHP 7.3 is the next thing that we need to download. And when you click on this link, it'll bring you to this website right here. Download the PHP 7.3 for your specific platform. I'm using Windows, so I will click on the Windows version. And once that has downloaded, we're gonna drag that to the desktop as well. Okay, and then what I need to do is you need to extract the PHP 7.3 zip file. Okay, so once you have extracted the PHP 7.3 zip file, it should open up this. It should have a bin folder and it should have a installer right here. Now if you're on Windows, make sure you install this right here, VC redistribute 64. But since I already have that installed, I'm going to drag the bin folder into my Pocketmine MP 3.11.6 folder and we can exit out of this and we can also exit out of our web browser. Now from here. As you can see, this is all the server files. So once you click in, all you need to do now is you just need to go to the start Windows command and right click. And I usually like to run it as administrator, but you can just double click and it'll just open in command prompt. As you can see, we just opened Windows command prompt with the server. Now it's going to ask us for which language we want it in. I'll put ENG for English and hit enter. And then from there, it'll basically greet you and it'll say, do you accept the license? type in Y for yes and N for no and hit enter. And then it says, do you want to skip the setup wizard? I would type in N for this because you do not want to skip over the setup wizard because it'll go over what's the name of your server? How much is your max players? Do you want whitelist? That kind of stuff. So I'm going to hit N and hit enter and it'll start up the setup wizard. It wants to know the name of your server. We'll call this techno nation and hit enter. And then from there, it'll give you the default port. Now type in the number that it gives you. For me, it's 19132 and hit enter. And then from there, it's going to ask you which mode do you want your game in. I'm going to set it to survival, so I'm going to put zero and hit enter. And then it'll tell you the maximum numbers of players that can be online at once. I'll put 20 over here and hit enter. And it says, do you want to allow spawn protection? And I'll put no for this one and I'll hit enter. And then from here, it'll bring up the operators menu. Now I'm gonna set myself as an operator. So neutral karma 789. Now this is gonna be your Minecraft username and I'll just hit enter. Now it'll bring up the whitelist. I would recommend 
typing no for this. If you want a whitelist, basically what a whitelist is, it'll only allow specific players that you allowed on your whitelist to join. So if you want to make this a public server, put no. So just put N and hit enter. Now it's going to ask you if you want to disable the query protocol. Basically, it'll show you the number of players online and a little bit about your server. I'm going to type in no because I do not want this disabled and hit enter. From there, it'll show you if you want a remote connection with server using password. I'm going to put no for that and hit enter and it'll get your IP. OK, so as you can see, it's just gotten my external and internal IP. So as you can see, we just finished the setup wizard. All you need to do is press enter now. And now my server has started up. Now this is only joinable on my local network. So open up Minecraft on a different device, not the PC you are running your server on because you won't be able to join your server. Okay guys, here I am in my Minecraft. I'm gonna hit play. And to see where my server is, you're gonna need to go to friends. And then as you can see, Techno Nation, here is my pocket mine server. I'll click in and it'll allow me to join. And here I am guys in my pocket mine server, just like that. It was pretty easy to set up. And as you can see, we can just kind of punch trees. We can pretty much do anything. It looks pretty cool. I like the world generation here. You know, it's something interesting. Now I will be heading back to my PC. Okay guys, so back at the PC, as you guys can see here, my player has entered the game. I'm gonna show you how to close your server. You do not wanna hit the X over here you're going to need to type in stop and hit enter. And then from there, it'll stop the world and save whatever it has. Okay, and once it has basically stopped the server, you can just press any key and it'll close it. So yeah, that's literally it. The only other thing I have to say is once you wanna start the server again, just click on this start right here and you can open up your server. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If it did, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. If this video was helpful, you know what to do, guys. Hit that like button. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye, guys.